Djokovic haters are just crazy, aren't they? Last night, we had a press conference with Novak Djokovic following his win against Roman Safulian. And an Italian journalist was asking whether Djokovic is scared of Italians after he's lost to them the last few times. What sort of journalism is that? Of course, Pavi G, a Djokovic stan, who sometimes has some poor opinions. That is a bit of an understatement. But a broken clock is right twice a day. And in the case here, we have a clip of Djokovic being asked if he is scared of Italians. What an idiotic piece of journalism. I don't know what the journalism standards are nowadays, but it's at an all-time low. Let's have a look. You just mentioned it. Consider that you can face Lorenz Muzet in the yeah. third round. What do you remember about the match that you had with him here last year? And if you're kind of scared or facing another Italian, consider that you... Lost with Sinner in Australia and with Nardin in the US. I'm not scared of any anything in 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 anybody, uh, but I really hope that I can get the the chance to play him again, get a a match up, another match up here. He obviously is, um, you know, one of the most talented players on clay. One a beautiful one-handed backhand. Uh, he can. He's very athletic. He can do a lot of great things. Um, and he's one of the most uh, promising young players, not only for Italy, but generally for the world. So, um, yeah, let's see. Let's see how it works. I mean, Artur Fis is also a tough, tough opponent to beat, so he's got to win that match. But um, I, I like the way I played my first match comparing to the first match last year. So I feel much different, uh, more ready. So... Um, Whoever is across the net, I'm hoping I can deliver my best game. Such class from Djokovic after such a stupid question being asked to the great man himself. What are the journalism standards nowadays? I reckon we could get a member from the team at Sportic to be at Roland Garros and ask Djokovic a few better questions. Let me know in the comments down below if you would like to say that. We might be able to pull some strings. Here we go, Mats Willander, who does have a bit more credibility because he's a multiple-time Grand Slam champion, one of the greats of the game. But once again, there's no need for this. What are you trying to say that Carlos Alcaraz could become the second most important player to ever play the sport after Roger Federer? Okay, Alcaraz and Federer. Federer is already one of the greats of the game. Alcaraz is going to be second most important player. You've disregarded Rafael Nadal. Noah Djokovic, Bjorn Borg, Rod Laver, John McEnroe, Pete Sampras, Andre Agassi. What is this? No, I don't believe that he, Alcaraz, can do it. Be number one for 400 weeks. I don't want to even read this. Nonsense. He's the same person that says Djokovic is the boat, the best player of all time, but he's not the GOAT, the greatest. Mate, he's having a sook. I'm not sure. Is he feel threatened by Djokovic? Does he feel threatened by Nadal? Let's have a look what he says here. Carlos Alcaraz is going through the same thing. People are expecting more than a player winning matches. The opponents of Carlos Alcaraz, they love it. They love playing against him, just like Grigor Dimitrov. That's enough, mate. That's enough for reading from that because he, that is absolute nonsense. Mats Willander, he's lost all respectability in the tennis sphere. He is, of course, a <laughs> tennis legend, but you're just talking nonsense. Just say it how it is. Don't make up nonsense. Federer is one of the most important players of all time, but what does that even mean important? What, what are we classifying as important now? Being charismatic or being likable? This is an absolute joke. And finally, something more respectable. What's going to happen in this rematch between Lorenzo Musetti and Novak Djokovic? Last year, Djokovic was winning, being up 6-4, 6-2, but his level dropped just a bit. He was dealing with that elbow injury at the time, not to make excuses, but that's the situation he was in. And it was a great match by Musetti. He did absolutely nothing following this tournament run, but it was a big moment for him in 2023. Now, he has another opportunity to show what he can do. We'll see. Personally, I do believe Djokovic will go pretty deep in this tournament. He has been using some different language in his interviews, talking about how he wants to go far and that he hasn't played well here in a very long time. And he's almost targeting this tournament as his main preparation or the tournament he would like to play the best at as part of the clay season in preparation for Roland Garros and eventually the Olympics. So what do you guys think? Who's going to win? What's your guys' opinion on the poor journalism by Mats Wallander and the Italian journalist? I'm in shock of just the level of journalism and the standard, the standards that are on the floor. Until next time.